If y'all were to even have benefits or anything like that, who here would look at that kind of thing? 99 out of 100 times, if you're doing a good job with this conversation, they're going to say, well, you know, uh, we already have benefits, but Jane handles all that. Jane. Oh my goodness. Perfect. And Jane is your... Oh, Jane is our uh, CFO. CFO. Oh my goodness. Y'all must be a good sized company. How many folks do y'all have here? Oh, you know, we, we've got about 40 now. 40 employees. Holy moly. And Jane, is she local to this office? Oh yeah. She works, you know, she's got an office right here. Oh my gosh. And, and your name was... My name is... Mary. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you how helpful you've been. Thank you so much. Mary, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Now here in a minute, I'm going to show you what to do with that. But watch this. Who, why, what? Did I find out the decision maker name? Did I find out if they were local? And did I find out the employee count? When you get really good at doing that through conversation and not a Gatlin gun, the mistake that I watch most often happen is people will try to do, well, they don't even really try to do this. So they still start off reflexive and then they go straight into barraging them or Gatlin gunning them with questions. What's the best way to get on Jane's calendar? How would I meet with Jane? What's Jane's email address? Does Jane have a business card? Like just boom, 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 boom. And then you wonder while you're sitting there shooting rounds down range and all of a sudden your gatekeeper Mary is going, whoa. Time out, Tiger. Who are you again? Why are you here? What is it that you want? I don't know that I can give you that information. Leave me a card. We'll call you if we're interested. You're causing that to happen because you're just praying and spraying downrange, hoping that something hit. 